Last month it was announced from Best Buy that they'll no longer be selling physical copies of Blu-rays and DVDs at their stores anymore, including their online services. Best Buy's exit from the market will leave Walmart, Amazon, and Target as the top retailers in the U.S. stocking DVDs and Blu-ray discs. Also still in the physical disc game is Redbox, now owned by Chicken Soup for the Soul Entertainment. The article goes on to say one of the reasons a lot of retailers are no longer going to be carrying physical media has to do with the fact that streaming services have basically taken over the market and customers have basically becoming reliant on watching things through streaming as opposed to owning physical copies. But there are a lot of people against such practices, and one of them is director Christopher Nolan, who came out recently in an interview basically coming out against the practice of just relying on streaming services, saying it's a practice that needs to be fixed. There is a danger these days that if things only exist in streaming versions, they do get taken down, no one told the publication. And it's not just about them getting taken down, but it's also about censorship, but I will get more on that in a moment. They come and go as do broadcast versions of films, so my films will play on HBO or whatever. They'll come and go, but the home video version is the thing that can always be there, so people can always access it. And I'm sure we've all seen time and time again, there was something that we might have watched on a streaming platform and that we really enjoyed come to find out several months later it's removed and we can't watch it again on there. Uh, but maybe it might be on another streaming service or you might be able to buy a physical copy of it. But that's becoming more of a thing in the past with the removal of physical copies and also streaming services having more and more exclusives. Uh, take Disney's Willow as a prime example. Now, I'm not necessarily trying to defend the show, particularly just using this as an example because I know it was supposed to be really bad. I can't really attest to that because I never personally watched it, but it did so badly that Disney removed it from the streaming platform as a tax write-off and they never produced any physical copies of it. So if you never watched it in the past, you can never watch it again. Or if you actually did watch it and were one of the few people who enjoyed it, you can never revisit it either. And to me, that's just kind of sad because there are lots of movies and TV shows in the past that were never appreciated when they first came out. Come to find out they build up a cult following later on and become huge and by doing something like this uh, you just remove all that possibility now am i going to say that if willow was allowed to continue it would do that no but i'm just using this as kind of an example because this will never be seen again except through pirated versions of it and i don't think that's the way we should actually be doing things moving forward and it's not even just them removing things entirely but it's also about making changes later on down the line because the executives at the studio now have different sensibilities than the executives who were in the studio when the work was originally produced because each individual movie and TV show is almost a product of its time and I think it should remain that way now if you want to do a remake or a remaster or something like that or re-release of it by all means do that and make those changes that you want to but allow to have the original version to compare and contrast it to because when you try to remove the original version entirely then you basically have cultural vandalism on the part of the studio executives now even if they have the rights to it and have the authority legally to actually do this I don't think they should actually do that I mean just imagine if someone bought like a Rembrandt painting and decided to go over it and make changes to it because they own it, the painting and they own the rights to it or whatever. I don't know if that's actually how the art world works or whatever in that situation, but just imagine if that actually was how things worked. I don't think that would actually be a good thing, and I think most people would be against it. You should always maintain the original, and I think we should do that when it comes to physical media as well. And Christopher Nolan kind of wrapped up his points by saying this. The danger I'm talking about with the filmmaker's film just sort of disappearing from streaming one day and then maybe not coming back or not coming back for a long period of time, that's not an intentional conspiracy. And he basically says it just has to do with licensing or whatever, and that he's confident that they will fix this issue later on. But the fact of the matter is, this is an issue, and I don't think the solution is just to get rid of physical media entirely as we know it. At least you can't get rid of something or you shouldn't get rid of something until you have an adequate replacement. And right now, streaming services just aren't it.